What's up guys, today we're doing uh, pumpkin spice sugar cookies. So we're gonna start uh, with pumpkin, and uh, here we go. Super safe, promise. And uh, so it's cut now. And uh, we'll scoop out all the insides. So they're all cleaned up and we're going to dice them up and put them in the steamer and then steam them till they're soft. Alright, we're trying something new today. I think there's something about pumpkins being ripe. And this one might not be ready yet, but you know, it might, it might just be like, you know how like squash are really hard to cut, but like once you like cook them, they're soft, so. I'm hoping that's the case with this. So, we'll see. Yeah, I got complaints last time about continuity, so I'm trying to do something about that, you know. So, just a quick lesson for you guys. I thought this was a nice cutting board, but uh, I apparently seem to have cut all the way through it. But, whatever, you know. The, the countertop doesn't seem any worse for wear, so. Um, I filled it up as much as I can, so um, we're gonna go ahead and steam them. Okay, and we're back. So, um... Pumpkin is all fork soft now, so we're just going to empty it into this colander, and I um, haven't quite thought this bit out yet, but we got to, I'm going to pull this skin off because I don't really have any way to deal with it right now. Um, I don't have a food processor, so um, we're just going to kind of scrape this. The skin is quite soft, so I could deal with it. Um, but I don't have a blender, so we're just gonna pick through this stuff and like, you know, get the skin off and then uh, puree that shit. Um, probably by pushing it through the colander at this point. Okay, so um, we got the pumpkin away from the skins now, so I uh, don't have a food processor at all. So we're just gonna mix it. Um, fuck, that's hot. Okay, and then we're just gonna like smush it through the strainer as our like, it's been pureed kind of indicator, I guess. I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, or not. It looks like I'm just gonna have to like mush it in my hands. That is really hot. This is a mistake. Um, but also I maybe need to go borrow a blender. I don't know, we'll see. So we got the puree, and uh, now we're going to get started on the cookies. So we're going to get some butter in a bowl, and then microwave it to soften it. Alright, calls for one cup of sugar. Holy shit. One cup of sugar. Um, I'm going to add like almost a cup of sugar, and we're going to mix it with the butter. And a half cup of vegetable oil. Oh god. Okay, so it's asking for half a cup of pumpkin. So, um, we're gonna get a spoon and uh, ladle out half a cup of pumpkin. So, I don't know. It's something, I guess. And we'll tuck it in the bowl. Cool. Half cup of pumpkin, which is surprisingly little, but whatever. Sugar, um, and then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, sure, we're just gonna half a teaspoon. I love me my vanilla, so like you know. Why does it need half a cup of powdered sugar? Jesus Christ, this is horrible. So we're just gonna just. I mean, I. They are sugar cookies, 
So, yeah, we'll, we'll just put that in. Okay, cool. Great. Just, just great. And uh, I guess we'll mix it in. Um, I think we can all put it in the bigger bowl now. Oh yeah, look at that. A disgusting mix of grease and sugar. Um, so, and then we're mixing it all up. Looks pretty good. And it needs two eggs. So, uh, let's get some eggs. Um, alrighty. So, egg number one. And, egg. Alright, now it's time to add four cups of flour. I think next week I'm going to stop using this Snapchat thing. This Snapchat just being really shitty right now. Um, so, um, two cups. Um, need another bag. Quarter teaspoon of baking soda. So, um, that way too much. There we go. That, too much. Um, and then, cream of tartar. This is really expensive for just such a small amount of cream of tartar, but whatever. Okay, and we'll put in... Okay, quarter teaspoon. And how much of this pumpkin spice? Half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. Um, Oh, there we go. So we got our uh, cookie dough all kind of balled up, and um, you put a little sugar on top. Uh, the oven's preheating. Um, there is some left, but I think I'm going to put it in saran wrap and throw it in the oven for another, or well, the oven, the freezer for another day. And I uh, threw them in the oven, so put them in there for eight minutes, and we'll see how they come out. So they're finally out of the oven. I'm going to really quickly make the glaze for them, and then we'll uh, put them on our drying rack and uh, let them cool down. So the glaze is super simple. I got a little bit of powdered sugar in there. We'll add just a touch of this uh, spices and then I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla and then some milk. Alright and they're all done and they're glazed. Let's uh, give one a try. They're pretty cooled down at this point, so. Alright, here goes. Okay, here goes. Mmm. That's really good. Mm. I'll have to make a pumpkin spice latte with this later, but. So that's pumpkin spice cookies. Um, tune in next time where I try and figure out what to do with the rest of the pumpkin.